And uh, the last thing uh, that I said to him, you know, I'd call him when he had, uh, he, got, he caught the silver bullet there, and I was talking to him once a week at least for the last, you know, three or four months when I knew he was history. And uh, the night before, I called him the night before he, uh, before he kicked out, and we talked a little bit, and he said, uh, I mean, he kept his humor right to the end. He said, you know, Greg, he said, uh, he says, you'll have to excuse me if, my, if I don't sound uh, my usual self. He says, they just gave me a shot of morphine and an enema. And he says, as soon as I put the phone down, I'm seriously thinking about doing a wall painting. <laughs> so I said, good deal, Mickey. Uh, I said, listen, man. <laughs> I said, take care of yourself, uh, and I don't know why, it's like the first nice thing that ever popped out of my mouth, I said, uh, take care of yourself, man, I love you. And there was this hesitation in his voice, and he said, uh, I love you too, pal. And six o'clock next morning, he died. And hmm. there's, uh, did there's you, hardly a day that goes by that I don't did you expect, think of something. Did you expect him to pass away? No. Or, or you no, just knew no, the time no, was coming? I just figured I'd be calling him, yeah. you know. Yeah. I knew it was time to be, you know. After 50 some years to try and, uh, it only took 50 years to say something nice, I guess. Right. right there, you know. But before he croaked, he came up to the house. We went fishing together. He mm -hmm. caught a fish. We went out and uh, I'm into hunting and fishing. And he caught a couple of fish. He was stoked and uh, he smiled. He even, he even wanted uh, Laura to take a picture of the two of us together, which he never allowed. Mm -hmm.